can see the types of polymerization reaction the last topic of the chapter so in types of polymerization reaction we are going to learn about addition polymerization that is a mechanism as well as condensation polymerization so let's write what did i say just now we have addition polymerization as well as condensation polymerization so when i speak about addition polymerization basically you have to remember three important concepts addition polymerization so this is also called as chain growth polymerization means there is increase in chain uh, increase in length of the um, chain polymeric chain it goes on increasing propagating chain growth polymerization done now so for this basically what what type of monomers you, you're going to take a catalyst you have a monomer also so the catalyst which we are going to use are it it can be benzoyl peroxide it can be acetyl peroxide it can be tertiary butyl tertiary tertiary butyl peroxide it can be anything apart from this we should also have monomers because the catalyst is going to add to the monomer so the monomers can be the mono, mono, monomer should be either it can be alkenes it can be alkadienes and their derivatives and their derivatives done yeah, right so this is going to increase so basically this is going to follow three steps what are the three steps let us write the steps then come back to the mechanism it is going to follow first chain initiation step that is formation of free radical chain propagation step increase in the chain length chain termination step where the whole reaction terminates and forms a complete polymer so let us write first it undergoes chain initiation step second would be chain propagation step third would be chain termination step okay let us come back and see one after the other um, chain initiation chain propagation chain termination let's start with the mechanism now so i said <clears throat> you you require a catalyst or you also require a monomer so basically when i have to speak about the first step it is chain initiation so in this chain initiation what is the main concept the main concept is formation of a free radical which follows free radical mechanism this you are going to write for the examiner to show that you are clear with the concept formation of phenyl free radical this is what you are going to write that means in your you are going in the right way to explain the examiner so first you are going to take the catalyst that is benzoyl peroxide so what is the formula so c6h5 here also c6h5 then you have c double bond o c double bond o i said peroxide there is a peroxide linkage in the center this is benzoyl peroxide now first there is a shift there is a breakage of the bond here exactly it leaves in the center when it leaves in the center what do i get this is till here one repeating unit this is one more so i can write it as 2 c6 h5 c like see here i can click this is breaking isn't it right so c o double bond o right fine okay there is one more o also so c o o i write like this yes further there's a cleavage here and this is going to form C6H5 free radical about carbon. So this is called phenyl free radical. This is what I have written. Done. After this phenyl free radical is formed in the chain initiation step only, I said this is the catalyst. Now we require a monomer which should be an alkene, alkadiene or derivatives. So I am going to take that free radical done i'm going to join it with an alkene this is a monomer right this is your phenyl free radical now what happens when these two join together just see the bond here breaks up and you get c6h5 c single bond c and this becomes a free radical now 
this is propyl now done now we'll go back to the second step now chain has to propagate isn't it when i go back to the second step that is chain propagation step chain propagation step now observe carefully in the chain propagation step this further adds to one more monomeric unit this repetition goes on c6h5 ch2 ch2 free radical adds to again one more alkene so again this double bond breaks up and this joins now see here you have 3 plus 2 5 this is going to form c6h5 ch2 ch2 is here one more ch2 this bond breaks up and you have ch2 free radical now from 3 it has become 5 done so what is repeating in this you're finding this unit is repeating every time so you can put this as a repeating unit so this goes on every time one 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 more alkene adds in it forms free radical now when it has to come to the chain termination step chain termination step done yes now observe carefully in chain termination like this two uh, free radicals are going to combine together i'm copying the same c6h5 that repeating unit ch2 ch2 taken n times and ch2 and ch2 free radical plus i'm going to write one more c6h5 ch2 one more ch2 Again, I am repeating the same unit CH2 free radical. These two will join together. How are they going to join? When you just start. This should be one terminal. This should be one terminal. So, write down C6H5 and one more terminal C6H5. You have in between these. Join them. CH2, CH2 terminal. Then come here. So, this becomes CH2 join with one more ch2 then you have this term isn't it okay i don't have place i'm writing that here so from here i'm coming back to this point you have ch2 again ch2 you one more you have one more ch2 this is ch2 which is repeating and the leftover c6h5 i'm writing it down C6H5. Now let us see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is ending, terminating. This is also terminating with the repeating unit here. So this is your chain initiation, chain propagation, and chain termination. Right. After addition polymerization mechanism we have learnt, then the next type is condensation polymerization. So addition polymerization is always called as chain growth polymerization. Remember this, this is called chain growth polymerization because one step after the other is followed initiation propagation termination but when it comes to condensation polymerization it is called step growth polymerization one step there is no link between one step and the second step everything is different so i've already done under one video where i've named it as terlin or dacron i've shown you the condensation and preparation of terlin or dacron and where um, i also showed you like one buna s buna n please go through the video you'll have a clear explanation there so addition in the exam if they ask you other name for addition polymerization is chain growth polymerization other step for condensation polymerization step growth polymerization so let us come back and finish off the chapter with differences between copolymer and homopolymer